Alright, so this is the mid-chapter review, number 8 through 10. So in these ones, we're looking for the measure of angle 1 and the measure of angle 2. So let's take a look at number 8 first here. So um, we're given that this angle here is 46 degrees, and we're asked to find the measure of angle 1 and the measure of angle 2. Well, I know that this angle here and angle 2, they are alternate interior angles. They are non-adjacent. They lie in between our two lines, and they are on opposite sides of our transversal. So they're alternate interior angles. I know from the markings that these two lines are, in fact, parallel. That's shown by these arrows here. So that means my alternate interior angles are going to be congruent. So the measure of angle 2 is going to be 46 because these two angles are congruent. Then there are two different ways that I can find the measure of angle 1. Um, the first way is that angle 1 and angle 2, they form a linear pair here. So I know that angle 1, measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 is going to equal 180. Also, I can figure out that um, since these lines are parallel here and they are same side interior angles, they're in between my two lines and they're on the same side of my transversal here, I know that these guys are also going to be supplementary. So I can find that um, in either of those two ways. I'm going to go with uh, they are same side interior angles, so they're supplementary. So I know that measure of angle 1 plus... 46 degrees equals 180 degrees. Then I just have to solve for the measure of angle 1, so I subtract 46 from both sides, Oops, minus 46, and I get measure of angle 1 is 134 degrees. Next up I have problem 9, also asking me to find the measure of angle 1 and angle 2. So. Um, first off, I know that this angle here, the one that measures 125 degrees, and this angle here, angle 1, they are corresponding angles. They lie on the same side of our transversal here, and they are in corresponding positions on top of our two parallel lines, parallel denoted by these arrows here. So I know that these two angles are congruent. So measure of angle 1 equals 125 degrees. Next, to find angle 2 here, well, angle 1 and angle 2 are same side interior angles. They are on the same side of our transversal here, and so I know that they are supplementary. So measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 equals 180. I know that the measure of angle 1 is 125, so I can go ahead and set up the equation. 125 plus the measure of angle 2 equals 180. I can subtract 125 from both sides, and I end up with, draw this over here, measure of angle 2 equals, equals 55. And now we have number 10, where we are still trying to find the measure of angle 1 and the measure of angle 2. So we have a little bit of extra work to do here because we're dealing with one of these where we have two pairs of lines. So First off, I notice 103 and angle 1 here, they are sharing this transversal and these two lines. These two lines are marked as parallel. Notice the double arrows, so they're parallel to each other. So for now, I'm not even going to worry about this line down here because the these two angles aren't even touching it. So if I use this line as my transversal and these two lines are parallel, then I know that this angle that measures 103 degrees and this angle, angle 1 right here, well, they are corresponding angles. They lie on the same side of our transversal, transversal right here, and they are in corresponding places on our pair of parallel lines. So I know that they are congruent. So the measure of angle 1 is 103 degrees. Okay, so now that we know that the measure of angle 1 is 103 degrees, we can go ahead and find the measure of angle 2 over here. So now I'm going to concern myself with a different set of lines. Angle 1 is, is, angle one is touching this line here and this line here. Angle 2 is touching 
this line here and this line here. So we can go ahead and ignore this line completely since neither of our angles are touching this line. So this um, diagram in red here is something that we're very familiar with. Notice that these two lines are marked as congruent or as parallel and so angle 1 and angle 2 are actually alternate exterior angles. They're on the exterior of our two lines and they're on alternate sides of the transversal but they're not adjacent. So since these lines are parallel and these are alternate exterior angles, I know that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2 which means their measures are the same. So then I know that the measure of angle 2 is 103 degrees.